Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back uh, from the uh, lunch uh, break. Uh, before going through uh, my presentation, let me introduce uh, myself. Uh, my name is uh, Chit Heng. I'm uh, currently the... Uh, My name is uh, Sujit Heng. Currently, I'm the Office Chief of uh, Social uh, Budget uh, Number 2 of the uh, General Department of Budget. And uh, my office is uh, in charge of uh, a few uh, line ministry, including the uh, Ministry of Environment. So uh, to, uh, today is my, my great honor to present you on the uh, environment and the uh, social fund. Uh, for my uh, topic uh, of discussion, I will focus on the four, uh, six main points. Uh, the first one is introduction. Uh, the introduction is uh, the introduction to the uh, quick uh, snapshot on the Cambodian economy and the uh, main uh, policy uh, roadmap of Cambodia. Then uh, I will present you uh, what if the uh, environment and social fund, uh, how the fund uh, is mobilized uh, throughout the years, and then uh, uh, with it revenue, how the fund is spent on, on its uh, projects. And then uh, proposing plan and reporting, and the, and the last one is way forward. So uh, before, before going uh, through the fund, uh, let me uh, uh, walk you through a quick uh, snapshot of Cambodian, Cambodian economy. Uh, of course, uh, if we look at the graph, uh, we look at the last uh, five years between uh, 2015 to 20, uh, 2019, uh, the growth of Cambodian economy was in average around uh, 7%. But then uh, due to the outbreak of the uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, our economy uh, we was hit uh, uh, very badly and the growth uh, become negative, uh, minus 3% in uh, 2020. And then uh, uh, with the uh, commitment uh, of the uh, uh, government uh, to improve the economy, uh, we get the growth uh, rebound to uh, 3% in uh, 2021. And then uh, we hope that uh, we could achieve around uh, uh, 5 to 6%. Uh, in uh, 2022. And uh, currently, the main sector which uh, contribute to growth is agriculture, uh, government and textile, and the uh, last one is the non-government sector. These are the three main uh, sectors. The other, uh, such as uh, tourism, construction, are also contribute, but uh, these are the three main uh, sector, main area. Uh, uh, in addition to the, uh, our economy, uh, this is a quick snapshot on our uh, main uh, policy agenda. Uh, currently in the uh, government mandate, uh, we implement the uh, retention strategy uh, phase uh, four. It is the top uh, social economic policy agenda for our country. And following this uh, retention strategy, we have uh, the uh, national uh, strategic development plan, as well as the uh, plan, I mean the uh, plan uh, for each line ministry that uh, they have their own agenda to implement based on the retention strategy. And in this uh, rectangular strategy, there are four retain goals. And uh, on retain goal uh, number four, uh, we've, uh, there is a focus on the inclusive and sustainable uh, development. And in this on the retain goal number four, side number two, uh, the focus is on the, uh, there are four sides. And side number two, uh, on the uh, sustainable of uh, natural resources and culture. And on side number four, uh, the focus is on the environmental sustainability and preemptive response to the climate change. So uh, these are the quick uh, snapshot of the uh, policy uh, roadmap of Cambodia regarding to the uh, environment and the climate change. Yeah, this is the uh, diagram uh, of uh, the uh, retention strategy. Yes, yeah, so we have the core, uh, the core uh, reform and then the uh, four main uh, retain goal. Retain goal number one on the human resource development. Uh, retain goal number two on the economic diversi diversification. Uh, retain goal number three on the private sector and uh, job development. And retain goal number four on the inclusive and sustainable development. So uh, these are the uh, quick uh, overview of the uh, main uh, policy agenda of Cambodia. And then uh, due to the uh, outbreak of the COVID-19, uh, in addition to the uh, retention strategy, uh, the government, we uh, formulate an another new policy that we call a uh, framework and program for the economic recovery in the new normal. We call it the new normal after we uh, with a negative growth uh, of uh, 20, 2021 and 2023. 
in this uh, new uh, uh, strategic framework, we focus on three R. Uh, R number one is on the recovery, recovery on the main key sector of the country. Uh, uh, R number two on the reform, I mean uh, to reform on the uh, key area, for example, on the environment and trade, uh, facil uh, trade facilitation for the uh, better business and uh, investment environment. And on at the same time, on the pillar number three, uh, the, the focus is on still uh, the uh, sustainability and inclusiveness of the uh, social economic, economic development. This is uh, what we focus on is on the uh, this area, on the recovery, the agriculture reform, on the uh, set of reform in the uh, you can uh, see on any slides, for example, on the original uh, agreement, the law and investment, electric sector. And on the uh, resilient, uh, there is a focus, uh, two main focus is on the green development and climate change adaptation. So uh, beside the uh, retention strategy, our new uh, strategic framework uh, for the new normal of growth also focus on the, uh, the uh, environment and uh, cl uh, climate uh, sustainability. Yes, uh, this is uh, the uh, specific area regarding to the, uh, uh, the uh, framework. Uh, as uh, our topic today uh, focus on the uh, uh, environment and climate change, and uh, I just uh, uh, show you a quick uh, snapshot of the uh, job of the uh, Ministry of Environment of Cambodia. As currently, uh, we implement the uh, program budgeting, uh, particularly uh, currently we, in, uh, we implement the performance informed budgeting. So in this uh, program, uh, the Ministry of Environment, they uh, focus on four main programs as uh, their main agenda for the uh, budget year. So uh, they focus on uh, program number one on the environmental protection, uh, number two on the uh, management and conservation of natural resources, and uh, plus with the uh, community development, uh, program number three on the uh, policy formulation, and the last one is supporting program. So uh, these are the four main programs that the uh, Ministry of Environment in Cambodia, they are implementing the program budgeting regarding to, in, to the uh, environment and uh, climate change sustainability. Okay, uh, so uh, after a quick snapshot on the, our economy and our uh, roadmap, uh, I will uh, present you on the uh, environment and social fund. Of course, uh, this uh, environment and social fund, it was uh, created in uh, 2016 through the uh, sub-degree. Uh, and they, they have a, a national committee, or we can call a steering committee. It comprised a, a member from all line ministry involved. So uh, the uh, committee is uh, chaired by the Minister of Economy and Finance, but the Secretary of Fund is under uh, the Ministry of Environment. Of course, uh, the fund uh, was initiated in order to uh, safeguard the environment. Actually, if uh, we look at uh, this fund, uh, we can say that uh, the fund is like an additional uh, package uh, or additional uh, budget in addition to the annual budget of, uh, of the Ministry of Environment in order to uh, to help uh, develop uh, for the sake of environment and social sustainability. So, uh, and the main point of the fund is encourage and allow uh, for public participation through the proposing the uh, environment, environmental project. So it means that if the uh, public, uh, they can, uh, they would like to propose a project and get uh, funding, they can propose to the fund and then they can uh, get the money to implement their project. Of course, uh, fund mobilization, I mean, uh, the revenue or the fund, uh, where has it uh, get the money from? The first one is uh, premium collection from the project, which are identified in the uh, environmental impact assessment report. It is like the env environmental fee that are collected from the uh, private company that uh, they have to pay annually to the Ministry of Environment. So some part of the uh, fee need to go to the fund. At the same time, uh, carbon revenue, excise tax, and aviation fee. Uh, annual revenue of the uh, Ministry of Environment, and the last one is transfer from the Royal Government of Cambodia and private sector. However, uh, currently, the uh, premium collection, they are the main source of fund for uh, the uh, social and environmental fund. And for the other three, uh, they are still uh, uh, discussing on the uh, circular on uh, the, discussing the rate, I mean, uh, how much percentage they should uh, share, share to the fund. 
Yes, and uh, between uh, after fund created uh, in uh, just in, in 2016, so uh, between uh, 2017 to uh, 2022, uh, the premium uh, collected uh, from the uh, private sector project uh, was around uh, 16 million uh, from around a thousand project, and uh, the project uh, mostly in the mines and and uh, energy sector. Uh, why? Uh, because they are uh, considered as uh, they have a uh, serious uh, uh, externality. I mean, impact on the environment. That's why they, uh, uh, the revenue come from uh, those companies. So uh, the, how the fund expand? Uh, the fund uh, expand on the uh, project uh, impo uh, that uh, propose every year from the uh, line ministry and especially the ministry on, on uh, environment. Uh, the project is on, for example, or as you can, you can see in the picture, on the uh, res uh, restoration of the forest area. They have to uh, support a uh, community, uh, uh, especially in the COVID-19. Uh, these are the uh, activity of the fund. So here is uh, the, uh, the d detail of how the fund is spent over the year. So uh, between uh, 2017 to 2022, uh, the expenditure of the fund was around uh, 16 around 16.1 uh, uh, million on the project of around uh, 20, uh, 40, 746 project. Yeah. So they spend on, for example, on the prevention against the COVID in the rural community, providing assistance to the flood victim, the restoration of the area, the support and improve the uh, community living standard, uh, especially the adaptation to the climate change. So as here, as you can see uh, the picture, uh, they get uh, the fund, uh, they buy a uh, cow, uh, they buy uh, some cow and then uh, they uh, give to the people in the rural area to support uh, their living standard. So uh, these uh, are the uh, quick uh, snapshot on the activity uh, implemented by this fund. Of course, uh, and uh, on number five, a uh, proposed action plan and reporting. Uh, currently, uh, the uh, the action plan of the fund, both uh, the uh, revenue and expenditure, they need to an endorsement from the uh, national uh, committee prior to the budget year. So, in every year, uh, they will be discussing on the uh, uh, on the uh, fund uh, how the fund uh, was mobil uh, is mobilized and uh, expand, and activity from the line ministry who want to involve in the who want to get a financing from the fund, they can propose the activity. And then the, the fund can finance project if possible. And then a uh, proposed work and action plan of the fund will be reviewed in line with the uh, annual budget year with the uh, review of the uh, Ministry of Environment. Because uh, uh, we do so in order to avoid the overlapping activity between the fund and the Ministry of Environment. And the uh, quarterly report needs to uh, submit to uh, the uh, National Committee and the uh, Ministry of Economy and Finance. So uh, way forward, as uh, the fund was just uh, created in, in uh, 2016, uh, currently they just prepare only the annual plan. So uh, what we uh, expect them to do is uh, to prepare a five-year master plan and they prepare the uh, needed legal framework because there are uh, uh, various uh, legal framework needed in order to operate the fund. And the last one, uh, encourage for uh, public uh, participation because uh, uh, I, uh, up to now, uh, the project uh, mostly are uh, proposed uh, by the uh, line ministry, but none are from the uh, private or public uh, sector, public uh, participation. So uh, it is important to have the uh, 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 participation from the public uh, into the fund. So uh, to uh, sum up, uh, this fund uh, is just uh, like an uh, additional uh, package. Uh, in addition to the annual budget of the uh, Ministry of Environment, that uh, line ministry and ministry of environment they can uh, propose activity to get financing regarding to the environment and uh, social uh, sustainability area so uh, this is all uh, for my uh, presentation on the environment and social fund okay thank you uh, for your attention thank you